even kangaroos live there, yes. Only 13% live in urban areas. I bet there's so much the world doesn't know about this country. I'm Kamera, I make videos on countries going alphabetically. And today we're zooming in on... Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea lies, if we go to Asia, we find Indonesia. It lies at the end of Indonesia, the outer edge of Asia. Papua New Guinea actually lies in Oceania. It comprises half of the island New Guinea, shared with Indonesia. The whole island is part of Oceania, making Indonesia a transcontinental country. But back to Papua New Guinea. It is located in the region Melanesia, which is the southwestern part of the Pacific Ocean, together with countries Nauru, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, and Fiji. It is Solomon Islands and Australia that are the nearest countries. Look, Solomon Islands is really close to Bougainville Island, and the tip of Australia lies pretty close. But if we zoom in on this strait, the Torres Strait, we see these islands that also lie super close. However, the only country sharing a land border with Papua New Guinea is Indonesia, and the border is almost a straight line. Right here, they decided to follow the river instead of cutting through the forest. Papua New Guinea consists of many islands, but the main islands are New Guinea, the big one, New Britain and New Ireland, Manus and Bougainville. In total, Papua New Guinea is a pretty large country. It comes to number 54 in area, almost the same as Sweden. With a bit more than 9 million inhabitants, it comes to number 97 in population. But this is only an estimate. The real number can be much larger. Papua New Guinea is actually one of the most rural countries on earth, meaning many people don't live in cities. Only 13% live in urban areas. The most of the people lie in indigenous owned communities. Wow, that's interesting. I bet there's so much the world doesn't know about this country. Like languages. There are 839 known languages in Papua New Guinea. Yeah, languages, not dialects. And it's therefore the world's most diverse country in terms of languages. Official languages are Tok Pisin, English, Hiri Motu, and Papua New Guinean Sign Language. Okay, so I mentioned around 13% live in urban areas. And I've always wondered this about Papua New Guinea. Which cities are there? I've always known about the capital city, Port Moresby. But what other cities are there? Apart from the capital city, there are no urban areas that have more than 100,000 inhabitants. But other towns are La on the east coast and Arawa on Bougainville Island. And there are lots of smaller urban areas and small towns. Okay, time for street view. Okay, okay, where should we go? You can try that one. Okay, we are in the middle of the country. There are mountains. I see houses. And I see cars. Pretty big cars. Those are large cars. Reminds me of the US. Here are people gathering under a tent. I see some umbrellas, must be raining. Well, it rains a lot here with all the rainforests. Look, wow. I see the skies and the mountains in the background. I see, is that a river? I think so. Roads. Wow, look at that green landscape. It looks so beautiful, I really like it. Is that an airstrip? Yeah. Ooh, I wonder how many airports are in Papua New Guinea. Okay, where should we go next? I can try and visit New Britain. I'm just gonna try this one. Oh, we're under sea, look at that. It's coral reef. Oh, so many fishes. I'll tell you later about the biodiversity here, but it is great. Wow, look at that. I actually study coastal ecology. Yeah, but I don't recognize these species. I don't know their names. It's fun to look at. Oh, look, that's a fish and some more fishes. And there are the snorkelers. Oh, wow. There's still so much we don't know about the bottom of the sea. The typical landscape for Papua New Guinea is tropical rainforest. Dense green forest. The rainforest can be found both in the lowland near the sea and in the highlands. You can take a look at this map. You can see the New Guinea highlands running across the whole island. There are tall mountains on the other islands as well. The highest point lies here and is called Mount Wilhelm, lying 4,509 meters above sea level. Wow, it must be beautiful up here. 
It's not only mountains and rainforests. Papua New Guinea also has wetlands, such as here in the south, where the Fly River, I bet there are many flies there, meets the sea. The tropical rainforests and the differences in altitude, and well, the size of the country, make room for a lot of different species of animals and plants. And I'm underselling it, Papua New Guinea is very diverse. It is a mega diverse country. Yes, it's a real term. It means having great biodiversity. And Papua New Guinea is one of 17 countries in the world to be mega diverse. It is so diverse, even kangaroos live there. Yes, 190 species of mammals. That's a lot of different mammals. 160 species of frogs. 170 species of lizards, 25,000 species of beetles. It is extreme. So let's see how we could experience this wonderful country. Papua New Guinea is a little visited country, but there is so much to do and see here. I would love to experience some of the nature it has to offer. You can visit this volcano, Mount Stavurver, and nearby Rababa Hot Springs. And you can visit Duke of York Islands, where there are beautiful beaches, you can book a homestay with locals there. That way you get to know new people and a new culture. If you like to go on a road trip, you can drive the Bolominski Highway on New Ireland and look out the window and make some small stops. The country has hiking trails, waterfalls, kayaking, snorkeling. Really, just a lot to do and see here. Papua New Guinea is such an interesting country. Kind of hidden on the edge of Oceania. Very diverse with over 800 languages and so, so many different kinds of animals and plants and people mostly living in indigenous rural areas. This was Papua New Guinea. Next time we're going to Panama. And we're zooming out. Thank you for watching guys. <laughs>